it's been a while since I did a tutorial and decided to kind of get back into the whole tutorial factor versus kind of favorites and different outfits of the day and stuff like that. So today's tutorial was requested by Jamie Lynn uh, via Pinterest. Um, she had saw a picture on there and really liked the makeup look and had asked me to recreate it. Um, I'll have the picture in my blog just for copyright purposes. Um, so if you want to learn how to do this look, just keep watching. Here's our final look that we're going to be achieving. So let's get started. First step you're going to want to do is apply a primer. I'm using ELF's Eyelid Primer and we're going to apply this all over the lid. Next step, we're going to be applying Half Baked from the Naked Palette all over um, our lid. We're going to start from the uh, corner of our eye to about the end of the color of our eye. Next color we're going to go with is Dark Horse, also from the Naked Palette. And this is going to go from the color of our eye to the, our end of our eyeball. You're going to want to also go and go from the edge of your eye above your crease into the corner of the eye. Now taking a fluffy blender brush, we're going to go back in with Virgin from the Naked Eye Palette just to clean up our uh, brow bone. No allow easier blending. Now because the look that we're going for has a bit of a darker uh, outer corner as well as a little bit in the crease, I'm going to go back in with Hustle from the Naked Eye Palette and just kind of follow along where our dark horse was. Now to help kind of fade out the color so it's an even blend. We're going to go in with the Naked Palette's Sin and just go below the brow bone back and forth to kind of blend out the color a bit. And then go back in with Virgin just to add a little more color to the brow bone. Some of Half Baked might have faded out a bit, but we can go back in with an eyeshadow brush and just reapply or half baked. For a little more precision on our crease, I'm going to follow up with an eye crease brush, which is a little smaller than a blending brush to help kind of get closer into your crease. I'm going to go in with a mixture of Dark Horse and Hustle just to add a little more depth to our crease. Now, taking a white eyeliner pencil, mine is from Victoria's Secret. We're going to put a little mark on the outside of our eye as well as right at the end of our eye. I find it's a lot easier to pull your eye to apply the line for a straighter line. Taking a mixture of Dark Horse and Hustle, we're going to darken our lower lash line and just go right underneath where our white line was. Get a little bit of those flyaways out of the way. Now I find when using a pigment, I'm going to be using Max Vanilla Pigment, and I have the small sample sizes from the Christmas edition. I find it's easier to use a concealer brush because it's so tiny to get the color onto the brush. And we're going to take the vanilla and apply this to the white just to add a little more pop of the color. Now we're going to line our eyes with a black coal pencil. And then also following along your lid as close as you can, do a slight line. This is going to give us a look of fuller lashes. Also, one extra step you can do is taking a black eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Hip Duo in platinum using the black color and an eyeliner brush and we're just going to follow along where we lined our eyes. A nice trick too would be to kind of apply it and wiggle it into your lashes just to get more coverage. 
and get between the lashes. Then follow up on the bottom. Now as you can see we have a nice liquid line so we're going to follow up using Maybelline's Lime Stiletto Black Liquid Eyeliner and this is in the color Blackest Black. And you're going to want to stay very close to your lash line just because we're just making the lashes look a little fuller. Now with this look, I filled my brows in just because I think it kind of pulls the look together. I'm using ELF's Eyebrow Kit and this is in Medium. And I'm going to be using a Shoney Kashuk angled brush. I just find it gives it better uh, coverage. So we're going to take the liquid texture first and starting at like maybe the beginning color of your eye, up, start applying this because otherwise you're going to make them too full in the beginning and they're going to look very chunky and choppy. Take it slow because this is you don't want to cake it on and then just go up. Now following up with the powder we're going to set it. Now I like to follow up with a brow brushing comb and just kind of brush out the color a little bit just to kind of lighten it. And then as well with the Sony Kashuk Brow Gel. Mine's kind of brown from filling my brows in. And there you have it, our completed look. So there you have it. That was my interpretation of that look. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below and let me know what you're looking for. I'll see you next video. Bye.